Well, welcome back to my craft, everybody, and holy crap, last episode scared the crap out of me. That was genuine fear I was experiencing, because I so do not want to lose my diamonds, or anything else I've been carrying, man. For once, I would like to be able to get out of the cave with this much awesome on me, and not die on the way. That would be sweet. So, that's what we're going to try in this episode, man, but the first thing is first, I am not going anywhere until I regenerate my health. And I found a glitch. When you right-click something you want to eat on a fence, it does the mining animation. Notch! Do you... Okay, I'm not even going to say it. Because everybody, every time I do that, somebody says, You know, Thor, Notch doesn't... Notch doesn't even work on Minecraft anymore. It's it's all jab and, and ditter bone. And you should you should know that. I know he does it. It's a joke. It is. Is there any death that way? All right. Yeah, I know that. I'm trying to be funny. Give me a little man. So I kind of placed iron here in desperation, and uh, I collected some of the crap that I threw over here. So, the uh, 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 the main the basic idea here is to try to yeah just put a retaining wall there for now. <laughs> and the worst part is that I got water flowing in both directions. So if any tr mob tries to attack me, they will find uh, it quite easy to be disturbing. So let's go ahead and block this off completely. So that base is covered. And or here, and that's I think that's my escape right there. Pretty sure it is. Uh, but you know what? Ugh, such itchiness. You know what I'm gonna do? We gotta regroup, man. This is not working. I try to be bold, but uh, the bold flavor is losing uh, rapidly. So I am going to craft a furnace. And I'm going to restore my armor. It's like, wow, Sora's playing smart for once. <laughs> yes, I know. I don't have a choice, man. I really don't. This is like beyond puke status. And if I don't do something quick, it'll be Creighton's. It'll be... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Whoa. Don't dig down. <laughs> There's more underneath my feet, dude. Like... <laughs> Oh, this is getting ridiculous. I don't want to go down. I'm a Y25, man. I'm getting there. And yet, it still tries to reel me in. What the heck happened to the axe? I'm like, freaking out. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to get my urn back. I'm trying to get my urn back, because I'm just that kind of guy. Do a little funny face for you. And also, uh, I was trying to dig a trash dump, and look what happened. So we'll try to do that. Okay, I can do it here. Still don't trust that spot over there, so let's go ahead and block that off. There we go. This looks like my escape route, and that's right. Well, yeah, that's the respiration book that I wanted. Okay. All right, we're, we're, we're doing good. We gotta do some menial tasks while I wait for my, at least 24 of my iron to be, to be sorted out. That's muy importante. The book is definitely a good find, man, because I think respiration allows you to go underwater for longer periods of time, and that's respiration three, dude. I could be underwater for some serious time, which means underwater building and exploration. <laughs> I'm excited. How we doing? Nine iron. I want to go golfing. Not really. What, what can I think? Okay, let me put this one block of iron in here, and. Uh, Ah, oh, what the heck? Let, let's uh, go up ahead and set up camp, because we're not going to get up here anytime soon. You and I both know... Not happening. Well, we might as well make the most of it. Like getting stranded on an island. You know, if I was, if I found myself deserted on an island, it wouldn't take me long to go... Yep. <laughs> That's it. Let's, uh, let's start surviving. We've played Minecraft. We've played Seven Days to Die. We've played all that fun stuff. We can do this. We're, uh... Artsy fartsy something Okay, it's over here. Okay, trash bin. In goes the bouteas and the spider's eye. I was hanging on to these seeds because I'd like to plant 
something, but I don't want a pumpkin farm. And there's pumpkins back at the base, so screw it. Then we got urn. I, would have, I was going to make iron blocks, that's why I said screw it, we're going to do the whole thing. And I can make rapist blocks. Now, it's still going to take up two inventory spots, because I don't, it's 85, and that doesn't divide evenly into 9. 80, uh, 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 81 does, but not 85. Took me a minute, I had to do some quick simple math. It was simple for me. And these are about four left. Oops. These zombies are getting awfully close. I mean, I'm safe now. But, you know, well, I'm not actually, because this is open. So let's go ahead and close that. There we go. I know that's technically my exit route, but... Uh, no chances. No chances shall be taken. I gave exactly zero chances today. <laughs> this has got to go, too. This, this, this is not... Uh, where's my... Don't tell me my sh my where's my axe, dude? I <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna have to give this fence the old-fashioned beatdown with my blocks of lapis lazuli, my Italian leather. All right, and all the cobblestone has to go, all of it. I can't. It's a burden on me. My bow is still okay. I don't really need this string either, but I can craft it into wool blocks for no reason whatsoever, at all. Unless I want to make dyed wool, that's also a possibility. But then I'll still have. I'm trying to consolidate the space as much as possible. So one thing I we can do is fill up totally on sticks and just place this block. You just place this block. I need a new mouse. Okay. Cover the trash so I never have to touch it again. And I am mentally retarded. I didn't put any coal in the furnace! How are you supposed to for, uh, uh, smell things if you don't have a coal in the furnace? Such a new, such a new. Okay, in you go. And there, and I'm out. I don't even have enough for this. Of course, there's some in the wall right here. Of course, that opens me up again to the wilds of the devil. There's more here. Might as well get that, because I know there's nothing coming that direction. I've already been here and lit it up quite nicely. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, yeah. I hear them, but I don't see them. But at least if they spring up on me now, I'm, I'm back to full health. That was, that, so, that was so horrific last episode. I, I don't know how I survived that. Um... Emotionally, that was that was bad. I was terrified. <laughs> that was, in the words of Markiplier, that was horrifying. <laughs> and it was, man. It's just I got blown up to half a heart. Then that zombie attacks me, and I have I have no weapon out. And I managed to survive that somehow. And then uh, I'm and then the creeper starts chasing me down, and I I throw an axe at him, which would do nothing, and I have to block myself off by using the resources I'm carrying. Just, just not a good situation. That looks like a possible way out, but like we said, first thing I gotta do, I'm revamping my inventory. I, I do want to go down there. I know you've been looking at that and be like, come on, sword, do it, do it. You know you want to. I dare ya! And I, I'm considering it. I just gotta. I mean, I could make diamond armor, man. But see if I get killed with that on. That, and that's all my diamonds. I kind of need some to make more tools and, and stuff. Like this diamond, because at this diamond pig is half dead. I want to try to, to sell a level 30 in my enchantment table and get an awesome sauce pick that I'll never have to, you know, like fortune would be really nice. But, you know, it be what it be. But that's kind of kind of why I'm not really going down that road. I want to I wanna do this the epic sauce way and keep you entertained and the only way to do that is to screw up royally right and that means we gotta go down in the exact space that we shouldn't do exactly what we should not do do the dumb thing and you will find hours and hours of unbridled and unprotected laughter <laughs> oh yeah alright so in order to do this effectively I want to make more torches. I gotta get rid of this single block of wood. And 
I'm gonna have to open this up and put it in my trash. Or cobbly stone away and trash has blocky do. And now, uh, oh, I, I can cook up these pork chops. Most excellent. Oh, uh, I just. <laughs> I'm thinking backwards here. Oh, and I was exposed, so this is pointless now. Uh, there's more coal there, too. That's a good thing. So, we're gonna go over here and craft another furnace and put in the other pork chops that I have. That'll save some room, right? I'm smart! I am so smart! I am so smart! SMRT! I mean SMART! That's uh, from The Simpsons, for those of you who don't know. I believe it was the episode where Homer got some kind of... Oh, he got the crayon out of his brain and he became super intelligent. And then he... <laughs> <laughs> he had a crayon up his nose for like his whole life. That's why he was such a moron. <laughs> then he gets it taken out and he becomes intelligent. And nobody likes him because they can't understand anything he says. He's all smart talky. <laughs> and then he, before that, he makes, I don't know what he's making. He goes, oh, I am so smart. SMRT. I mean, SMART. Because it had to rhyme. It had to be in the iambic pentameter in the cadence, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like that, uh, that missing uh, right there. Don't worry. If I get some money from YouTube, I'll, I'll get this replaced. That's a great idea. Donate to me so I can get this tooth put back in, right? I don't care. I don't care what I look like. I'd get myself in trouble if I was attractive, so... Better if I just leave that out of there, you know? Ah. Uh, I don't know if it bothers me, but... It doesn't really... I don't really think about it. But the way I... The only way I can put the camera is this way. Which I think is that way, but it's this way, and you always see my, my I look like a hockey player, a homeless, homeless, uh, homeless hockey player, right? Isn't that what I said? It's truth. It's the truth. <laughs> of course, if I ever get my, my uh, jaw sewn shut from some kind of horrifying accident, I can just, you know, use that for my straw hole. <laughs> We're like, wow, we don't even have to knock a tooth out. It's already set up, man. You were destined to have your jaw wired shut. <laughs> How morbid. We're doing good, though. I uh, I have enough to make this urn, uh, armor, so that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to do it a little differently than I usually do. I'm going to put the helmet and the shoes in the breastplate instead of in the metal pants. And then we'll draw the pants over. That'll be that. And then I will just put these together. So that it's all restored to 100%, because I have this, I don't know if this is true, but I have this idea that armor not only wears, it wears down in durability, but as it wears down, it actually protects you less efficiently. I don't know if it's true, it could be total hagwash, but it seems like a somewhat valid theory, you know, maybe it's, it's true, but I've never tested it and I've never seen anything on it, and why the heck didn't you crack or spill? All right, so my armor's restored. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Oh, and my arrows are gone. How interesting. So next step is to be an idiot and see what's down here. I mean, why not, right? Just say, oh, oh, okay. That was premature. That was premature. I didn't mean to drop like that. Okay, light it up, light it up. No danger. Mind force. I'm not afraid. Oh, crap. Okay, this is a two arrow shot for three. There we go. He wasn't gonna do anything, man. If I see you, I kill you. Oh, hello, chest! What's in here? What's in here? Oh, more seeds, coal, iron, and a ding darn saddle. Well, we're gonna put these seeds back because I don't want them. And, oh boy, darkness. Well, we're gonna explore that darkness in the next video. So, thank you very so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and stay awesome! Oh.